Hi, I'm Mikey DeQuino. I'm 20 years old and I'm a design and technology major with co uh, concentrations in costume and set design at Marymount Manhattan College. I'm originally from Florida. Um, I live in a little town called Hudson. I came to New York because, you know, it's very accessible in this business to be very hands-on and get exactly right down to every single detail. You know, in Florida there's not fabric houses or, you know, you have your local Joann's, but not, uh, you can't go to the trim store, like, every, there's so many different types of stores, you know, you can go to one place that has spandex, you can go to one place, it's just very much accessibility and having everything right at your fingertips, and also, you know, the culture, you know, it's, it's New York, it's Broadway, everything's here, everything, you know, it's right here in the palm of your hand. My perspective on coming um, to New York and dealing with costume design, I've definitely gotten way better at um, like drawing people every day and you know I like I do use um, croquis often which are um, figures that are already in positions just because that's easier for me because I was never one to be able to draw um, real life humanistic figures um, I was always, you know, I love to draw, when I was little I loved to draw cartoons and whatnot, and that's what some of my first renderings come out looking as. I was in Susicle, I was in the show, and I also designed the set and the costumes all for it. And then these are all inspired by Wicked, one of my favorite shows. My mom's costume jewelry. And then these were all for Cinderella. I handmade all of these and put rhinestones on each and every petal. I've always had this, you know, theatricality aspect about me and always want everything to be big and glitzy and glammy and I think from being here, um, I've learned that, you know, everything doesn't have to be that big Broadway brassy thing and that simple is better and, um, you know, toning down to the classics and like time periods and whatnot. My first steps when I have to come up with design, first you do research of what, you know, what time period, what, um, aspect of lifestyle that they were, you know, what class they were in, the character, um, and, you know, you look up, you know, historical research images you can derive from that or then take from, you know, then you start to take from your own mind and tweak it to what you think it would be um, in that way and then it's, you know, it's onward from there, it's whatever your mind imagines, but within that broad aspect of real life where like my designs come from is like that wow factor just always even when I was little just like the amazement and like the the spectacle of everything just like making the unimaginable happen what do I love about costume design I love that you can make it your own thing obviously because it's your design your vision comes to life from paper to physique phys uh, physical life so when I design a uh, rendering for a character, I, you know, obviously if I'm working with a director, if I'm working with making it for somebody, I want to know obviously their input and what, you know, they want their character, more, what concept we're going for. So I'll do a couple different uh, sketch variations and then, you know, present to them what they like, what they don't like, um, and then, you know, make changes and adjust from there. And, you know, I'll do multiple, I usually work in, um, I mean, using this watercolor and, as a sketch first, and then I usually go in with um, liquid pens as well and do that in my designs. But, um, you know, I think design has impacted my life in a very, a very positive way because I've found so many other things that I love and think about every day. You know, it has impacted my life every single day. I'll look, you know, I'll be walking in the street and I'll be like, oh, like, that's, you know, this building structure amazing, or like, this could be, you know, that person's outfit's great, or like, I don't like that about something, you know. It's just your mind is always constantly thinking of new ideas for, you know, productions, you know, potential, you know, productions everywhere, places. Um, I think also it has bro broadened my horizons because, you know, there's a, a lot of things back home in Florida that I, you know, I do miss home in Florida, you know, I miss my family, I miss that, so, you know, a lot of the time I think about, like, what can I do in my, in my field, I could work there, you know. There's a lot of theme parks and whatnot, and I would love to be, you know, 
involved with that because that you know that's a passion of mine too you know that I love so as long as I love what I'm doing and I'm happy with what I'm doing you know I'll never work a day in my life you know and I love doing this so that's great. So when you're oh, we're still like, rolling. Yeah, we're still rolling. Okay. Where'd you keep going? <laughs> <laughs>